Hello there all my lovely jewelry makers, I'm Christina of CSL Designs and in today's video I'm going to be doing another cabochon unboxing because cabochons for sale on Instagram was kind enough to send me some more cabochons to unbox with you. So this is their card and the information here, if you want to look them up yourself, do recommend having a look. They have a lot of really nice things and also I have previously worked with them so if you haven't seen that, the previous unboxings that I've done of their stones I'm going to leave a link to them in the description box down below so you can check them out as well but let's just get right into it here because I'm curious to see what's going to be in this one so like the other times, nicely packed up definitely nice and secure like I mentioned, they are on Instagram and you can definitely get lost with just looking at their account and that they have some very lovely stones and cavishans try and get through this tape a little bit because this has obviously travelled quite a ways because they do come from India which is where a lot of gemstones in general come from now we're getting through a little bit <laughs> right, almost there <laughs> finally get the last tape off here looks like it's also tape inside which is actually good because obviously if they were loose inside and they could be moving around that could maybe damage them but they're nicely and safely wrapped up so let's just get in and also I do always like these little containers that they send them in they can always be reused or oh, just to store the stones themselves obviously right so let's get into this one and we have some nice I think it's bubble wrap as well and that's what I've experienced every time it's nicely packed so it's safe along the way because the last thing you want ideally it does obviously happen and things can happen but the last thing you want ideally is is if you bought something like this and it arrives maybe damaged in shipping like I said it does happen and it can happen, but they definitely do their best to prevent it. Right, so I think we are getting there. I don't know if I can just kind of pull them out from this end. Oops. We have some kind of paper there. Right, so let's have a look at the actual stones, the most important thing. So, it looks like we have a nice little selection here, this mainly on the smaller side, kind of, well it's a medium side rather, it's not really small, and it looks like some lovely colours, right, where should we start? I'm going to just take one at a time here, this looks like a labradorite, now they sent me these the other times as well, and they do a lot of labradorite on their page, and it's always really, really lovely, always has a lot of colour as you can see, very, very bright blue and green and yellow. Let's see on the back. You also get colour there, which I always think is nice because I always try, I mainly try and kind of capture my cabochon so the back is open as well, in case it kind of flips around while you're wearing it. But this is nice if faceted as well, so that adds extra sparkle. I do love that. It's actually a really nice size because it's not too large and not too small. It's quite a nice medium that, but it's still because of the colour there and the flash from the colour and the faceting, it will definitely still get a lot of impact and attention. So that's a lovely leopard, right? Right, next let's do this one. I'm not sure what this is. So this is kind of like it's a stone that's then got a little, not imprint, but almost like a little something else inside of it. And it goes all the way through there. Almost like a little window. Obviously it's not see-through, but it's almost, oh, a little lake if you're looking at it. Almost a bit fish-shaped. 
they're definitely very natural looking, the colours and the shapes and patterns on there. And it's actually quite a nice shape, actually. It's not see-through that bit, but I just moved it a bit. There is light coming through there. You can see that moving my finger. So some light does come through that part. So it's not see-through, but it's more than the rest of it. So that's definitely unusual. It's a nice kind of feature on the stone. But like I said, the shape is actually really nice because it's a square, but it's a rounded square. So nice and soft sides and edges and the corners as well. And kind of a little bit of a puffy square. So that was that one. Then let's do this one. Good. Ooh. Again, we have some flash. Oh, wow. So some of this, obviously these top ones are my lights, but down here and then moving all the way up, you can see, wow, the flash from the stone. That is beautiful. And the back, that's basically just one big flash. Wow. That is very beautiful. I love stones like this. Same principle as the Labradorite where it just changes when you move it. So basically kind of like a moonstone. A dark moonstone. Really like that. I could look at things like this for ages. Just kind of get lost in them because it's almost like it's there's a world within them, it's like a 3D world within them. You just kind of want to get in there and kind of be part of all that colour and shiller and flash and everything. And again, it's that shape, just smaller than the one we just had. So the rounded square and also looking at the thickness, this small one is actually thicker than the larger one. So obviously the sides are a little bit higher to kind of grab onto or something to capture it. Now moving on to the next one, we have something blue. Hmm, I'm thinking this looks kind of to me like lapis lazuli, especially on the back there. And a teardrop shape, that's nice. They're all very nicely rounded and the edges and also quite... Obviously, the Labradorite one here was faceted, but the other ones, the smooth ones, they're not faceted here. They're very... Just the way they feel, they're, just, they're very smooth and kind of shiny, but they feel like they are as well, if that makes any sense. So this is also a very nice teardrop shape, the actual shape and size of it. Again, not really large and not really small either. It's a really nice medium. Be a lovely pendant, that. And it's a very nice, even though it's quite dark, it's still quite bright, the colour. So that is lovely. It's almost on the back as if there's like a little landscape. That is lovely. And next we have, let's take this. Ooh, still a bit different. So it's an oval shape. Let's look in there, but it's very thin. So it's not, let's grab either one of those. It's not kind of a cabochon where usually cabochons are, will have a flat back and then they'll be domed on the top in whatever shape they are. This one, it's not quite like that. It's actually just pretty flat. It's still rounded on the edges and nice and smooth, but it's just kind of really thin and flat. So that's a bit different. It's almost a bit like a coin, but in an oval shape. I do, I have seen stones like these before. They're really lovely. It's basically things like this where each one, obviously all stones are like that, but it's so individual. So you're never going to find a pattern that's the same. It's always very unique. It's almost like from here, I'm seeing like a snowy ground and then it's kind of a bit from above, but an angle. You're looking down and you've got dark trees. 
it's almost what I'm seeing here. <laughs> I usually see things in stones when there's kind of different patterns in them and things. Anyway, next we have, ooh, green. This looks like malachite to me. That is lovely. It's a lovely green, well, multiple greens obviously, but very nice and bright. Again, lovely and smooth and rounded. And the pattern is really nice. It's like sometimes I find with malachite, it's almost a bit too harsh sometimes. The pattern is kind of, makes sense, it's hard to explain, but it kind of stands out too much, so it kind of disrupts itself a, itself a little bit, I think. And then sometimes it blends in nicely and goes to get together well. Sometimes you'll find green tones within the same malachite that don't necessarily always go that well together. Obviously it's all natural, but this definitely looks really nice. Now the back is flat. It's not polished on the back, as you can see, like the front is, which is a little bit of a shame maybe, but because like I said, I prefer to try and capture so you can actually see the back, but obviously the most important thing is the front. That is very lovely. A nice oval shape. And again, same principle as this, this range is actually really quite nice sizes in general, where everything kind of would work really well as pendants, where it's not too large, but also not too small to work with. Actually, they go kind of nice together, <laughs> the colors. But lovely shape as well. I do love oval shapes and capuchins. It's probably my go-to shape, to be honest. Um, let's see, what do we have? We have a very delicate pink. And we it's... That was called a maquis shape or something. That is very unusual. Actually, that is this is really thick. Again... Probably close to the same, a little bit less thick than that one, but quite thick compared to some of the others. For instance, this teardrop shape. So thicker, but again, it's nice to kind of have a range, I feel. Now, I really like the look of this and the colour, because it's, it's not pink as in you normally think of pink, but it's also not white. It's a very delicate pink, but it's kind of like... A delicate pink mixed with white and it's just very nice actually kind of quite feminine but and I actually really like this shape I don't think I've used a shape exactly like this before where it's got points on both ends could obviously use it both ways to be honest this would even work if you're into kind of large rings would work as a ring as well that's really lovely can't wait to work with that and the last one here this is quite bright as well. Another blue. So this to me, I'm thinking appetite. They usually have those pretty bright blue colours, almost kind of, I want to say ocean colours, but not the dark ocean, kind of the more, the bright ocean. Almost get that feel as well in kind of the patterning and the different tones running throughout, almost as if it's kind of waves running through. Again, oval, nice and rounded and smooth. And this is the back. Feels really nice, they all feel really nice. Actually, ooh, those two actually go really well together, the colors. Obviously two different blue hues, so they would. Hmm, maybe interesting to kind of try and mix some of these. It's not, I actually don't think I've done that before, using multiple cabochons in one piece, but. Some of these would definitely go together. Absolutely beautiful. So that's nice as well. Again, a lovely size. But we had this oval malachite. There was also this kind of really thin, almost coin, but oval coin. But for the cabochons, it's a bit larger than the malachite one. And again, the thickness, it's fairly thick. Not as thick as some of them, but a bit thicker than kind of maybe the average, but this kind of is a little bit different because if I just bring in these ones you can see they're very shiny and they feel shiny as well if that makes any sense but this one is a little bit different it's not matte but it's not the same shine either it's kind of like an in-between 
a matte and a shine. So not fully matte but not fully shiny but it's actually really nice. And I just love kind of touching and playing around with stones as well. They just feel nice. Also when they're like really smooth and that so. So yeah, those are all the stones that it sent me. Very beautiful. I definitely can't wait to play around with some of these. So these are the beautiful cabochons that they kindly sent to me. I definitely really like all of them. Now there are a few that obviously kind of stand out. Malachite, obviously, that is actually one of my favorite gemstones. Don't know why, it's not because, it's, it's not like green is my favorite color, but there's just something about it that's always attracted me. So I do really like this one, specific one as well. But Malachite is one of my favorite gemstones in general. So that one, obviously, Lapidrite, you can never go wrong with that. And I just really like this delicate light pink one as well. There's something really nice about that. Obviously they're all nice and blue as well, the different tones so, and not to forget the lovely, actually I didn't look at that before properly did I? It's actually a little bit, not clear but got a little bit light coming through kind of one side of it and you can really see almost like a veins and inclusions within it. Oh, I didn't even notice that before. But I really like things like this as well. And I've not had, I'm pretty sure, this specific stone before. It's usually been leopard right or something like that. But I really like all these and I definitely can't wait to work with some of these. Both is because they're really nice stones, but also for instance this one, I haven't worked with a shape like that before, so I'd be quite curious what I might actually come up with that because I'm not even sure yet if I would kind of make it use it so can you kind of maybe hangs this way as a pendant or the other way or like I said it could even work as something like a ring so who knows I'll have to wait and see with inspiration so I just want to show you a couple of pieces that I ended up making with some of these cabochons here because I will be honest I was looking at a lot of them and I very quickly got ideas for several of the cabochons and I kind of had to just play around with it a bit and make some things because I also haven't really done much cabochons for a long time so I've really fancied it. Now the first thing that I used was one of the square cabochons and I wanted to do a wire crochet design and it looks like this. So first of all I kind of did on the back here I did the base so it looks like that is captured from the back and then I went up the sides of the cabochon and captured it from the front as well and you can still see that beautiful effect and sheen from the stone is really lovely and I'm really glad it seems to be showing up very well on camera so that's very nice but I feel like quite happy with how it turned out and what I thought as well is first I kind of thought just a square thing and maybe hang it from symmetrically like that but what I ended up then deciding to do was just turn it a little bit and actually hang it from one of the corners and all of a sudden instantly that kind of gave a completely different feel and I actually really liked that so instead of just this would be nice as well but it's kind of the typical way I kind of thought it was really nice to hang it like this it gave it a completely different feel to it I think even more elegant than if you hung it the other way and I really like how the silver wire there with the crochet looks with that stone so I'm very happy with that and it's nicely and securely captured as well. So that was the first one that I made. Now the next one is something that I've never done before. So I have had kind of ideas of wanting to do it for a while but I've never really taken the plunge. I think I did bring it up when I was going through the stones that two of them I thought looked really nice together. So I ended up deciding to try it for the first time and actually use two cabochons in one piece. And also, so it has some movement there, so it's not like they're put together in one piece and it's all kind of a solid piece. They have some movement because they're kind of just attached together. So they're separately and individually wrapped, but I then connected them together kind of afterwards. So they look like this. So I feel like they have a really nice effect of how they would hang on the neckline then because first of all I really like these two stones together the malachite and then with this blue tone as well so deep and rich I felt they went really well together in the colors but then the shapes I was actually really intrigued by this 
oval and I was thinking laying it sideways like this which I also am not sure I've really done before usually the ovals I kind of just do the usual way and then a teardrop shape here usually as well I kind of just do the teardrop shapes the usual way like this as well but then I thought hang it kind of upside down you could say and then connect them together so it kind of elongate down the neckline a little bit and there's still movement but the design between them is still cohesive so it does kind of connect them nicely together so I'm actually really happy with how this ended up as well just to show you the back it looks like that so again nice and securely wrapped in there and again I don't mind if they flip around and you can kind of see the back you get color through from the stones as well but also a decent nice design and then obviously the front and I just attached a chain on either side there so I'm really happy with this as well and especially for first experiment of using two stones in one piece so I'm glad about that because I definitely want to try and do that a little bit more often and see what else I can come up with but I really want to thank Cabochons for Sale for sending me these very beautiful stones and I do recommend that you check them out if you want to like I said they're on Instagram and of course there is the card that I showed you but of course I'm going to leave the information in the description box down below as well so you can just go there check it out and go directly to them so I hope you enjoyed unboxing these cabochons with me maybe getting a little bit lost in some of them that's never a bad thing though is it <laughs> but thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one